Hi guys, I haven't forgotten about you. I know it's been forever, like literally. And of course, when I start filming, I have to cough. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, I know it's been a while. I've been like super busy and just really busy with life and I just have not had time to dedicate to my YouTube channel and I'm really sorry I'm trying to get back in the swing of things and I really just made myself sit down and do something today because I just need to start getting back in the habit anyway first comes first let me put my hair up because I just can't ever seem to function with my hair down when I do my makeup it's kind of weird I know anyway I already did this side you can see this is what we're doing today and I should have primed my eye before I started the video. Started. Sorry, my life. Alright, this is my NARS, NARS, NARS Smudge Pro Prime. NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is like in the morning, so here's my coffee. Bottoms up. And then. I'm going to take, let it dry for a minute, because I know that the stuff, and there's my, uh, like my, let's see if I can find it, right there, box, basket of lotion. Anyway, this is my, um, Black Track, um, paint pot from MAC. Let's take a little bit of that. Put it on there. It doesn't have to be pretty. We... Whoa, <laughs> not that ugly though. We're gonna be blending it out. So, I don't want it that high either. Take it all the way in. And I actually am playing with my Naked 3 palette again. I kinda like super duper loved it at first and then I like really disliked it. You know, we're going to take Limit. I think it's a beautiful palette and I love it, but I think if you don't have it, you can definitely live without it because as beautiful as all the shades are, basically all these ones right here are all kind of the same on the skin. At least they are me. And then all of these right here like, I love these two matte blending colors. Like, they are awesome. And then here, if you kind of add these together and try and make an eye look with these, they all just eventually kind of blend into one color. Like, they're really, really blendable, almost a little too blendable. And it's like, ugh. And it just becomes, like, one muddy mess. I'm almost done with my coffee. And then just kind of blend it so we don't see that harsh line anymore. And take any shader brush. We're going to take Trick which is this gold color right here. And then pack it all over the black. Get it on there good. Anyway, I hope you guys have been good. Um, summer has came here and my son has went to Nana's house for the entire summer. And I picked up a second job and I am exhausted. Uh, I think I'm about ready to die soon. Now that's being over dramatic, I know, but oh, let me tell you, I'm getting too old for that shit, but oh well. I'm done with my coffee, I promise. And then I'm going to take, I think I'm done with this. Yeah, I'm done with this palette. Then I'm going to go to, this is just what I had sitting here. You could use a different if you had a MAC, if you didn't have this palette, then that's fine. But I would probably, if I didn't have this sitting right here, I would probably use um, Ground Brown by MAC. But I'm going to use this brown right here called Backdoor. And it's in the um, Urban Decay Smoke Palette. And I'm going to take it just right here on this outer part of the crease. And blend it in. And this is on a MAC 226 brush seat's kind of tapered like that. So it's made, it's kind of made to get in the crease. Just blend it in just for a little something something. 
I don't even have to. You can totally skip that step if you wanted to. And I actually got the Urban Decay Perversion Gel Eyeliner. Love it. I even got the Perversion Angled Eyeliner. Do not like it for eyeliner, but I love it for filling in my eyebrows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Gel or Pomade. Love it for that. But I have the... I keep hitting the cough too. I'm really sorry. This is... Let's see. i do it again. I kind of... My MAC one kind of dried up, so... I wanted to try... I really did like the Maybelline one, but it was very... It even kind of dried up on me. I was kind of disappointed in it. I'm going to do a small wing. Very small. See if I can get it to look the same on the other side. That's always my look is getting them to look exactly alike. Not too bad. Not too bad. Probably. Uh, I just cut my fingernails last night, so go figure there. There we go. Well, I might have to clean it up later. I'll get it later. I don't have anything right now to get it. I would just take a, um, <clears throat> a it's not quite as crisp. Hmm, my fingers are all kind of black. It can be. There we go. It's not too bad. Da da! It does dry kind of quickly, but I really have been pleased with it. Anyway, mascara, I'm using Georgiana Best Lash Extreme. Um, I've had this stuff since, like, April, and it is still, like, super duper wet. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm thankful for it. Like, it's just, and I paid, like, $3 for it. I really like it. And this is my um, Lancome. Um, what is this called? Doll lashes. You know me. You know I like more than two different kinds of mascara. I like. Oh, I'm stretching. It's still like the morning. I'm like waking up and I'm being such a baby and I'm lazy bones. Anyway, um, I'm going to. And just because this is kind of a basic eye. I'm going to take Junkie by Urban Decay and put it under my lash line for just a minute. Just a minute, yeah. Do the other one as well. Alright, and then I'm actually <clears throat> going to conceal because this is my MAC Pro Longwear and NW10 concealer. Still using this bad boy. I find that if I can put my concealer on and then do like my lower lash line, it kind of blends a little bit better than you don't get to see that line beside my concealer and my eyelid. You know, there's that one spot that you just can't get. I find that it looks just a smidge a bit better. Just to clean up my little edge a little bit. A little bit. My still have to fix that a little. I'm not 100% happy with it, but... Don't have time to worry about it right now. Anyway, and then, um, where's that? There it 
is. My MAC Emphasize powder, which is this white one. I'm just going to set it real quick. Got a long day ahead of me, so I need to make sure um, my makeup does not move at all. Anyway, I kind of wiped some of that off, so I'm going to go back in with Junkie. Is this called Junkie, right? Yeah. Okay. And then to take this Makeup Geek brush, which is a, what is this thing called? Small crease brush. And I'm going to take loaded eyeshadow on the tip of it, just the tip of it. I'm going to blend it out underneath my lower lash line. And then, you just keep blending and blend some more. And when you think you're done blending, blend some more. Because the better you blend, I have noticed the more I blend it out, my, especially my lower lash line, the better it'll stay. And then, so this is how wet my mascara is. Okay, so usually when I do my lower lash line, I kind of like push it down to the bottom, just kind of scrape it off. And look, there's still, I've never had mascara do that. And it's the side where there isn't a lot of mascara. I put it so I get my lower lashes without making a huge, glumpy, goopy mess. How to do that? Yeah, and just get it back in there. And then, actually, I'm not gonna wear any blush today. I kind of liked the look that I've been doing without any blush. I just put bronzer all over, which I use my Chanel, you um, Soleil Tan de Chanel. And then I'm kind of gonna set my bronzer, I guess, a little bit with um, my Mac Golden bronzer. It's just much loved. I'm using a Mac 109 brush. It just kind of sets it a little, and I'll do a little bit of contour with it. My nose. And then I kind of go over it with the bigger Real Techniques one. And instead of blush, I've really just been using my um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I've kind of just been using it as a highlight. And that's all I've been doing. I've kind of really been liking it. If I were to wear blush, it'd probably be, um, I've been really liking Max, um, Dainty lately. Kind of in the mood for that one. And then, I like to set everything with my Blot Pressed Powder by MAC. Just a translucent Ugh, powder. <laughs> Um, for my face, I use my Revlon Whipped Color Stay Foundation because I have a long day ahead of me. I use my Becca Ever Matte Primer, and that's been when I know I have a long day. I like to use that foundation and that primer because it really it doesn't move. It lasts all day. It's a good one. My black hairs I have. Yay, okay, none too many. And then eh, I'm just gonna go with my um, Viva Glam Lip Gloss. Nikki 2 by MAC. It's kind of like the lavender one. And, ow, ow, pull my hair. That is it. Oh, my hair is a hot mess. Anyway, I hope you guys like it. I hope um, you guys are still loving it and I'm sorry I haven't filmed a lot when trying to get back in the swing of things. I really am. I really need to. I need to stop making excuses and just get it done. But anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!